Prairie pine is one of the rarest trees on the planet. Its only natural habitats are found here in San Diego and on Santa Rosa Island. Here in San Diego, they've been through a lot recently. The trees were severely impacted by a drought that lasted more than two decades. Then as they started to bounce back, they were hit hard by a bark beetle infestation. Now the Torrey pine is facing a new threat, pitch canker. In tonight's Earth 8 report, meteorologist Sean Stiles looks at how the fungal disease is impacting the trees and what's being done about it. San Diego is a unique place, and one of the things that makes it so special are the Torrey Pines. They can only be found on two places on the planet, here in the Torrey Pine State Natural Reserve and out on Santa Rosa Island. But a big problem for these trees is the bark beetle they've been dealing with over the past 20 years. And a new problem is pitch canker, which is adding immense stress. You know, they've been through a lot to persist here for as long as they've made it here. The Torrey Pine State Natural Reserve is a lot bigger than you think, stretching 1,600 acres from the Torrey Pines Glider Port to the Bluffs just south of Del Mar. To get a lay of the land, we went on a hike with California State Park's park senior environmental scientist, trees. Darren Smith. So, you know, all these sort of changes are, uh, are kind of hard on plants that don't evolve very quickly. Smith describes the latest assault on the Torrey Pine, pitch canker and how it spreads. Pitch canker, and what happens is the, the pitch canker is a fungal infection or a fungus, and the beetles carry the fungus around from tree to tree, and they create a wound on the tree, and that's where the fungus can enter the, the tree's system. The first signs of pitch canker started showing up in the park about five years ago, which is considered fairly recent. That's one of our volunteers picked up a tree and did some testing and did a private lab sample and found out that it was pitch canker and we confirmed that with the with the state agency that looks at those things and since then we think it spread almost to the entire 1600 acres here at the reserve after hearing that my concern was could the torrey pines be wiped out is it deadly to the trees we haven't seen any mortality yet at least in in large trees the hope is is that the trees have some resistance you know, they may be a little funkier looking with some dead branches but ultimately recover we just don't know for sure you know only time will tell because the reserve is so big the park surface is in a monitoring mode but they are collaborating with other agencies we're partnering with san diego zoo and U.S. Fish and Wildlife Service, U.S. Forest Service, all these agencies have a task force, a pitch canker task force, to look at problems like these. Currently, the focus is on containment. So by not using tools on any of these trees that are used outside without a thorough you know, sanitization or not carrying any bark or material off-site where there could be other coniferous trees where we could spread this disease. These problems all circle back around to climate change. Over the past 20 years of mainly drought conditions, that has has reduced the sap production in the trees, which helps protect the Torrey Pines from invasive pests like the bark beetle, which is also the vector for pitch canker. But as bad as all this sounds, we did find some hope while we were on our hike. So this little tree here uh, last year we thought was a goner. You know, it's infested with pitch canker. It lost most of its needles and branches. It was really looking in sorry shape. And this is really encouraging to see. It looks like a lot of new growth is coming up from it. I mean, you can see the dead part up in the, the crown there, but this new growth is, is encouraging, at least for now. The Torrey Pines have been dealing with stress for decades, and as we just heard Darren tell us about that young Torrey Pine that had pitch canker, it is rebounding back. So there is hope for the trees here up on Torrey Pines. Sean Stiles, Earth 8.